Hi, you guys. I am from Canada. Anybody here from Canada? Well, there goes my ride home. I was actually driving here with a friend of mine, and she's like, hey, how much further till we get there? I was like, about 20 kilometers. She's, I know, she's like, kilometers? Oh, yeah, you guys up in Canada are on the Matrix system. <laughs> I was like, you're so smart. <laughs> take this blue pill here, you'll stay in your American land. But take the red pill, and you'll be transformed to a place with strong beer, strong weed, and where curling is really cool. <laughs> Don't be scared. Celine is in Vegas now. <laughs> I was just at home for the holidays, had a great time, just found out that my best friend from high school is pregnant. And I was like, finally, a real designated driver. <laughs> I love Christmas. Christmas is really important in my family. You know, I was taught from a very young age that before you wrap a gift, you have to take off the price tag and replace it with a way more expensive one. <laughs> Every Christmas, thanks, Grandma, for my $400 ladle. <laughs> You're so sweet. My parents are divorced, but they lived together in a two-bedroom condo. <laughs> my parents are roommates. I admit the settlement worked great for me because I spent Christmas in the living room, Easter on the patio. Nothing keeps people together like cheap rent. My uh, sister, she's big into commitment. You know, uh, she was bragging. She's like, hey, it's me and John's one year anniversary. But they're just dating? I don't understand why people celebrate anniversaries if you're just dating. For me, it's like, how do you pinpoint the first day it all started? You know, do you start it from the first day you meet? From the first day you kiss? From the first day you have sex? I think it's easy if you do it all one day. <laughs> like my sister. <laughs> I went to the doctor while I was in Canada because it's something free to do, right? <laughs> well, I know. I'm really glad I went to, you know, because it's good when you get the checkup. You feel so relieved afterwards. Like, now I kind of feel like I have the right to lie about how many people I've slept with. Because I got the checkup. <laughs> it's like hitting the restart button. <laughs> Control, alt, delete. <laughs> it's like shaking the etch a sketch. I'm clear. I'm not big into commitment, I'm not gonna lie. Marriage is like CSI. I just can't get into it. <laughs> but I think if I ever was to get married for like a green card or whatever, <laughs> What I want to do at my wedding is invite every guy I've ever dated and give them all aisle seats. That way, as I walk down the altar, I can shake everybody's hand. Good game, good game, good game. <laughs> Call me, good game. Thanks for the sweatshirt, I like that one. You know, I like a guy enough to like bring him home to my place. I can't, because I'm really messy. Like, does anybody here live in an apartment that needs explaining when company comes over? <laughs> And I had people over, I was like, um, okay, so the toilet flushes, but you have to take the lid of the tank off, dip your hand in the water, and pull a little chain at the bottom. <laughs> All that will go down, I swear. <laughs> Sorry about the flies in the kitchen. They're seasonal. <laughs> hey, I'm out of clean glasses. Do you mind drinking it out of the Yahtzee dice shaker? I know the last guy I had in my room was like, wow, your room looks a lot like my room. I was like, whoa. I hope he's talking about the mess and not the Care Bears. <laughs> whoa, put that anywhere. <laughs> oh, it's kind of fun. You know, having a good time, have people over. I uh, had a party recently. And uh, you know, I understand the cops always come and bust the parties. And the first time I was busted, I was like, okay, fine. Like, you know, we're being loud, we'll, we'll keep it down. But the second time the cop came, I busted him. I was like, dude, I thought you said you didn't want to be back here tonight. <laughs> lies, all lies. 
Our apartment got broken into once. That kind of sucks. The cops show up. They're like, wow. They really did a number on this place. <laughs> I was like, no, we did that. They took the TiVo. <laughs> So I try to uh, party elsewhere. I like to go to bars. Bars are awesome. I made a news resolution. I'm not going to accept free drinks from guys anymore. I'm going to start by not accepting free drinks if the guy buying is white trash. <laughs> That's like stealing from family. <laughs> Some guy came up to me and tried selling me ecstasy for 20 bucks. I was like, dude, no thank you. It's cheaper when they just slip it in your drink. <laughs> I know there's this trend now when you go to the bars, like girls are making out with each other, right? You see this? And they're not doing it because they're in love, they're only doing it to impress all you guys. I know you guys call me old fashioned, but I remember when you just had to dance on a speaker. <laughs> I love what song they play at the bar too, you know, like that one where she's like, my milkshake brings all the boys to the yard. <laughs> that girl's got it so conveniently. <laughs> my milkshake takes me all the way to the valley, then I have to ask for a ride home. <laughs> it's awkward. I love it, even the bartender knows we're all bad news, you know. I was at this bar, this guy was like, you white girls are all trouble. I was like, I know. <laughs> Look what we did for Kobe. <laughs> One time I met this guy and you know, things are going pretty good, you know. We go back to his place, so I assume we're gonna, you know, smoke weed. <laughs> then he's like, I don't smoke marijuana. And I was like, why not? He's like, cause one time I was smoking the marijuana and I was high for five days. I'm thinking, wow, my dealer sucks. <laughs> I have the stuff where you pass out in front of your TV with chicken fingers in your lap. <laughs> I went to the gay bar the other night with my lesbian friend. I'm not gay. I was just there because it was dollar beer night. <laughs> But I felt really bad because I was scared that like maybe I was like getting in on her game, you know? So I decided to play matchmaker. So I'm like, uh, I think you should go for that girl over there. She's cute. She's like, Christina, that's a granola lesbian. I was like, what's a granola lesbian? She's like, you know, a girl who doesn't shower and shave a lot. I was like, I think I'm a granola heterosexual. <laughs> Ladies, you think you need to do all that stuff before you hook up with a guy? You think you need to shower and shave and wear cute undies? I've tested that theory out many times. Let me tell you what happens when you don't do all that stuff. It's still a go. <laughs> <laughs> I've bragged about now showering. I've like done one of those burps through my nose. At the end of the night, a chick is still a chick. Some women play hard to get, I play hard to want. Thank you very much, you guys have been a great crowd.